we're going to use the Euclidean algorithm so that the greatest common divisor of P and Q is the same as the greatest common divisor of the difference of P and Q and Q. This allows us to do this calculation with smaller numbers. Briefly, this is because if a number divides P and it divides Q, then it's going to divide its difference as well. Our sequence is defined so that we add 18 to the numerator and 19 to the denominator, where the numerator and denominator of the fraction are in lowest terms. Our first term, a sub 1, is 2020 over 2021. We add 18 to the numerator and 19 to the denominator, and we get a fraction that satisfies the solution. So, so far, our expressions that satisfy this fraction t over t plus 1 happen for our first and our second terms in the series. Let's see what happens with the third term in the series. We add 18 to the numerator and 19 to the denominator, and we get this fraction. Let's see if we can simplify this fraction by using the Euclidean algorithm. We find the greatest common divisor of 1037 and 1039. We subtract 1037 from 1039, and now we're comparing the divisors of 1037 and 2. These are relatively prime, so the fraction doesn't simplify. Let's generalize this for all terms in the series after the second term. We start with the numerator and denominator of the second term, and we add some multiple of 18 to the numerator and the same multiple of 19 to the denominator. And let's calculate when we have to simplify our fraction. We're going to use the Euclidean algorithm again. We'll subtract the first argument from the second argument. Then we'll subtract the second argument from the first 18 times. This GCD is greater than 1 when k plus 1 divides 1001. Let's find the prime factorization of 1001. This is a good one to commit to memory. The next time we have a fraction that can be simplified is when k plus 1 is equal to our smallest factor 7. This occurs with our eighth term. Let's plug in k equals 6 to find out what our eighth term is. We add 18 to the numerator six times and 19 to the denominator six times. Let's see what the common factors are of 1127 and 1134. Subtracting, 7 divides 1127, so 7 is our greatest common divisor. So our fraction simplifies to 161 over 162, and our eighth term also satisfies the requirement. So we add 8 to our list of solutions. Let's see what our next solution will be. The kth term after the eighth term means we add 18 to 161 k times and 19 to 162 k times. Let's see when this simplifies when we have the GCD of our numerator and denominator is greater than 1. Let's subtract the first argument from the second, and we'll subtract the second argument from the first 18 times. We have that the greatest common divisor is greater than 1 when k plus 1 divides 143. This is our prime factorization, so this happens when k plus 1 is equal to, equal to our smaller factor. This is when k is equal to 10, and it occurs at our 18th term. So we add 18 to 161 10 times and 19 to 162 10 times. Here is our fraction. Let's simplify. We again find the greatest common divisor. 11 divides both of these numbers, so the greatest common divisor is 11. So our new fraction is 31 over 32 and we could add 18 to our list of valid solutions. Let's see what our next solution is. We start with 31 over 32 and add a multiple of 18 and 19 to the numerator and denominator. And we see how many times we need to add these in order to get a fraction that can be simplified. This is equivalent to finding the greatest common divisor of 13 and k plus 1. And this is greater than 1 when k plus 1 divides 13. This occurs when k is equal to 12. So now we find our 30th term. The greatest common divisor of the numerator and denominator is 13. This reduces to 19 over 20, so 30 is another solution. Let's see if there are any solutions beyond the 30th term. Here are our subsequent fractions. Apply the Euclidean algorithm again. And now we're finding the greatest common divisor of 1 and 1 plus k, which is 1. So our numerator and denominator from here on out are relatively prime. So these are our valid solutions and we need to add them. Our solution is 59.